Hi there. Name's Carly Steak Punch. Nice to meet you. I was just about to eat what I eat in a day. You want to see it? You don't. So I figured we'd do a quick little what I eat in a day video, keep you updated on the roller coaster of life. I made some tweaks. It's unlike me to make changes to my diet, but I figured some things needed to be brought in, and I have brought them. Basically, one year vegan, failing hard, it was ruining my gut. When I say one year vegan, people are like, you should have tried it longer. Yeah, how about the 10 years before that one? 10 years vegan, 11 months carnivore, one year pescatarian, 10 months keto. What the hell next? Vegan for one year. 90 day juice fast in there. Now, I ended that vegan nightmare with juice till meat. Raw food, juices and meat. Everything raw, meat too. Now we're just, this is the most balanced I think I've ever eaten and I feel the best, it's weird. You've always been asking me to eat more balance. This is my version of balance. So every day I wake up, about a cup and a half of water. I don't drink much water. I don't need to because of all the juices. I usually work out, have a shower, and then my first meal around 9.45 a.m. ish. I wake up usually 7.30 a.m. So after about two hours, I make a green juice. Celery, cucumber, lemon. I'm keeping it simple. I'm not going to the dark leafy greens. It was super oxalate city. I don't think they're a problem, but this is a very mild, almost fruitarian juice. Just the celery in there, a little sodium, you might need it. After that, wait about an hour, have two fruit juices apart. One liter watermelon juice maybe? Maybe cantaloupe juice? Maybe, no, that's high in vitamin A, don't ever do it. Honeydew melons. Right now I am slightly experimenting with lowering my beta carotene to see if vitamin A is a toxin or not. It's still super high in my diet. I had watermelon juice today. It's lower than cantaloupe, still kind of high. So that's what I had today. Two liters of can, oh man, watermelon juice, about two hours apart. And I didn't go on a nature walk today, so I don't need much. Now I'm going to eat my meal, and what I did today was make a chicken stock with feet and thighs. So just, I filled up that Instapot with like eight thighs and a bunch of feet, like a hundred chickens died to make this. I got two more liters in the fridge, so I'll have this two cups basically of meat stock, which is like totally helping my gut. It's GAPS protocol, I mean, this is the foundation of the GAPS protocol, meat stock. Drink it, it's gelatinized. I know vegans, you see this and you're like, you're a moron, you know that doesn't heal the gut. Collagen is just broken down into protein. It works, it helps, so F you, vegans and your weird guts. So I pressure cook that in the Instapot for like an hour and 45 minutes. I don't know if that's the best time. I just, that's what I do. So before I drink that, this is a new invention. Never tried it. Canadian bitters. I've been taking it for about a week and a half. I feel like it's helping because sometimes if I eat too much fat, I will get nauseous. And that doesn't, even if I take this, it still happens. So I definitely have to think, don't eat so much. Yesterday I had scrambled eggs because I'm trying to get rid of them. And I scrambled them in lamb fat way too much. I was nauseous for like two hours. Ruined my life. These didn't help, but for the most part, they could help some of the time. There's a lot of toxic herbs in here. Turmeric, globe artichoke, dandelion, ginger, black walnut. Oh man, that might kill my healing parasite. That's bullshit. So you take this roughly 15 minutes before a meal. So I've already taken it. What I'm gonna do is drink this and then wait a little bit. It's just plain, you could add things to it, veggies. The whole trio of celery, carrot, onion. That would make it much better, but it still tastes pretty good. I don't think you need those anti-nutrients in your life. Once I'm done the stock, don't drink it too close to your meal. Let it 
settle, but digest a little bit. I'm eating the meat from that stock, so it's a cooked day. Sometimes I have raw meat, but I'm not gonna throw that out, and it does taste pretty good, but feet, I don't know about you, they're so gross. This whole thing is gross. Meat, like what the hell is this? That's disgusting. It's a foot. He's giving me the finger. You'll get over it. So I eat that to satiation. I might have a can of sardines. Spring water only. Don't go for like soy oil. Why are those even a thing? I don't get it. These are kind of high in sodium. Even though there's no salt in it, they're from the sea. So salt makes its way into your belly even though you're avoiding it. I don't seem to have a problem with it. It's 270 milligrams. I don't mind those grams. Now what I've been doing lately, I eat a little meal like this. This is kind of like my dinner, but later, maybe three hours later, cause it's only 3 p.m. I eat this, chill out for a bit. Usually I've done like a bunch of shit in the day, long nature walk, whatever I'm doing, filming. Come back, eat this, relax for a bit. Then I have some honey, fantastic. I am on a honey kick. I'm just getting all the kind we got the comb, that's tasty. Spit out the wax, you freak. We got like, it's all raw, all good stuff. This one has the royal jelly. This one is a different one. I just got, it tastes like bubble gum. It's crystallized, don't know what that means, but it's all raw. This one's weird, it's like crunchy almost. It has a sugary, like the sugar is crystallized or something. It's weird, but so I'll take like a big heaping tablespoon of honey. I feel like that helps digest this meat, but don't do it too quickly. Let the meat digest first, then have your honey. And then I have like a handful of cashews, maybe a couple handfuls, I'll tell you that much. I'm enjoying it. They don't seem to be hurting my gut. It's like fruit fiber is friendlier than nut anti-nutrient fiber, but there's so much of the fruit fiber that actually irritates me. So when I'm juicing the fruits, I take a couple bites. That turned into me mono mealing a fruit instead of the juice. That started to hurt me. It was like too much fiber. Whereas, so I stopped doing that. Just a couple bites. Handful of nut fiber. It's a tiny amount. Tiny amount of fiber, even though it's unfriendly compared to the fruit. It's friendlier because there's less of it. Now this is a little premature, but this is the first year I so far don't seem to have summer allergies. And it's 100% because of the raw honey, all the different ones. So if you suffer with summer allergies, try it. Local, it has to be local and raw, unfiltered, unpasteurized. And the bees, they take the flower stuff, the nectar that you're allergic to, but they convert it into non-allergic items and then your body takes it and then you get used to the allergens. Hopefully that continues. I forget when I get them, but I, I'm pretty sure I would have had them by now. Don't quote me on that. But I think I've defeated allergies forever. Thanks to bees. So that's what I've been doing for the past couple weeks. I see no reason to change it. Why would you? It's delicious. You get every flavor, every nutrient that's there. If I don't have this chicken, like I think I'll eat that tonight and then I have a bunch of stuff in the freezer. There's fish, salmon, I'll eat it raw. Whatever I can eat raw, I will. But like there's certain cuts of lamb I can't. The shoulder, come on now, so chewy. Then you pressure cook it. I'm not frying anything. No barbecues here. I'm not creating the poisons. I suppose I should taste this on camera. It's the only thing I will taste. Always like a layer of fat gross and when it's in the fridge the next day it's like jello basically you got to reheat it I've kind of been like I'll just eat it cold it was disgusting don't do it just reheat it and I do half each so boom boom every five days I do this it's so hot I was not ready for that oh you son of a chicken bitch I'm fine. It was acting. So 
I drink that, I wait, I've already been through the routine. What do you think of that? That's balance. That's not too much fat, just enough protein for the gains and to keep my body weight up. It's like I'm on this juice fast type of thing, but then I get to keep my muscle and weight. It's like, wow, this is working. So cool. Thumbing that up. I don't mind it. This is the best diet we've made so far. It appeases everybody but vegans. The only reason you would thumb this down is if you saw a grandmother. She was carrying groceries. You asked her what's inside the bag. She said it was plant-based. You took her purse to buy her meat. You just bought a vegan grandmother's meat with her own money and it's you're putting your morals on other people and that's wrong you know it's wrong you know who said it was wrong Jesus yeah yeah he's not your role model apparently who is a video gamer some gamer with headphones that's not who I want to look up to no it is not so I'm gonna drink my chicken milk we're good to go. Heal in the gut. Still hot. I'm gonna go after you subscribe.